Designing a home that looks gender neutral and unisex might be a little challenging task for couples and that's why I want to help you about it on this video today. If you have just moved in with your partner or planning to move in soon and don't want your house to look more on the feminine or masculine side but rather you want to have a genderless feeling in your space that can suit both you and your partner, you have to watch this video until the end because I'm going to share 7 useful tips that can help you to design your genderless home. By the way, if you want to decorate a room for your kids that is genderless and unisex, you can still watch this video because you can apply all of these useful tips into your house and have a great room for your children. If you are already curious, let's start! Welcome to my channel. If you are already a subscriber, thanks for coming back and if you are new here, hello, my name is Selan and I am architect. On this channel, I do videos about interior design to help you use your space wisely and also give you a perspective from an architect's eye. First of all, I want to thank you all for your support and help this channel grow and reach its first 100 subscribers and it means a lot for me and I really appreciate that. Please continue to support, so like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And also I have a surprise for you once I hit 500 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. And that's all for now, so without further ado, let's start. This is the first and the easiest tip to design your home in a gender neutral approach and I want to say that colors don't have specific genders like pink represents woman or blue represents men. But at the same time, we cannot really ignore that these colors associated with these genders. So if you use these colors predominantly in your space while you design your home, it's very likely that it might come out very feminine or masculine. So you should rather use these colors on your accent pieces and you should prefer other colors as your main colors and your secondary colors in your home. Yellows and orange, especially burnt orange, can be a great option for a genderless home. But if you don't really like the colors, you can also go for neutral color schemes like grays and beige because they are also great to create a genderless feeling in your space. forms can help you to create a unisex space because they don't give any feminine or masculine feeling into any type of space because basically they are not specifically identified with any type of gender and you should definitely take advantage of that. So what I mean by geometrical forms? Well, there are so many ways to incorporate them into your space. First of all, you can get nice decorations that are designed in simple geometrical forms like in this example or you can go for a rug that has geometrical patterns on it as you can see on the screen now. Or if you want to create an accent wall in your home, using wallpaper that has irregular patterns on that specific wall might be a good option to create a genderless feeling in your space. Or another great example is that if you are designing your bedroom, you can go for geometrical patterns on your beddings and cushions and it will just look perfect in your house. So, like I said, there are so many ways to incorporate these forms into your house and you should definitely use them in your space. your 
art pieces for your home. You should go for abstract art if you want to create a gender neutral home. Because basically abstract art doesn't contain any physical representation of things like how they put flowers in floral paintings or how they put specific human faces in portraits. So basically it has much more freedom. And the biggest advantage of this freedom is that any type of abstract art can be interpreted in a completely different way by different people. And so the edges of the abstract art is very blurred which makes it a great option for a unisex home. this i really think that abstract art is very creative and it will definitely elevate your space and make it look much more inspiring if you want to create a unisex home you should have a balanced mixture of feminine and masculine textures so what do i mean by feminine and masculine textures I refer softer, fluffier and thinner textures as feminine textures like satin, velvet and fur. And I refer thicker, unflexible, harder and also simple designs as masculine such as leather and heavy wool textures. Basically you should both use feminine and masculine textiles in an equal amount in your home if you want to have a genderless feeling in your house. a great contrast in your home which is very exciting and interesting so you should definitely give this one a try if you want to create a gender neutral home you should prefer simple and modern lighting fixtures in your house so if you are wondering if you can use chandeliers or exaggerated lighting fixtures in a gender neutral home my short answer will be no Lighting fixtures that are very popular in industrial and also mid-century style can be a great option for you because they are mostly simple in design but at the same time they have a sculptural statement effect. Avoid using complex bedding design in your bedroom if you want to achieve a unisex look. So what do I mean by complex bedding design? Well, first of all, the patterns should be fairly simple rather than dense and tiring for your eyes. So you should definitely avoid heavy patterns in your space. So if you are wondering what you should use, let me tell you. You can use modern geometrical forms like I have just said before or this is very important guys. You can go for very simple designs that highlights the material rather than pattern in your space. And trust me, this is a great way to have a gender neutral feeling in your space. Another thing is that you should always keep your cushions tidy and please don't overload your bed with thousands of different cushions. Go for bigger cushions and only get a few for your bed. So avoid anything that can cause confusion in your space, so basically keep it simple. Which ones are you going to apply in your gender neutral home design and which one do you think that is the most useful? So drop your answers below and let me know but overall I hope you like this video and if you do please click that like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and tap that notification bell to get notified every time I release a new video. You can follow me on Instagram at Selena Architectural Design for daily inspirations and I will put my website and contact information in the description box for your business inquiries again thank you so much for watching and stay safe until i see you next time take care bye bye